Hello everyone and welcome back to Starfield where I cut the last video into two halves so last time we did basically the tutorial we found a magic metal thingamajigger on a mining operation that gave us hallucinations and the guy who was picking up the device decided to hand us his ship on account of he needed to help the rest of the miners deal with the pirate attack that he brought down on their heads and we ourselves are a little bit stuck we can't flee the sector until we take care of those local pirates and so that's what we're going to be doing today cleaning up the pirates and then going to meet the constellation this explorer's guild that wants the fancy metal thingamajig so let's get on with part two of the video Cute little bugs. They seem friendly. Guessing the people down here are less friendly. Ah, oh, of course. So scanning is a thing. I have scanned a creep stalker. Okay, it seems slightly angry with me. If I go away, will it, will it calm down? Oh, that's angry with me. Well, very dead now. I thirteen percent scanned it. I found thing. Red iron. So I can gather resources. Because apparently I need that to do research. Ooh, silver. And it's a low gravity moon, so I can jump quite high, which is fun. Probably focus on the alien uh, pirate base, but. Ew, a thingy I can scan. Okay, so I need to scan it multiple times. That's 13% scanned again. So we're gonna go say hello to the unscrupulous violent pirates. Got some chunks cola. A succulent. A microscope. I don't know why I'm taking stuff, but RPG tendencies tell me I need to take stuff. That is a health kit though. Right. Okay. Oh, so it's like a combat arena. I'll take the gold pyramid sculpture. That looks fancy. Make the skies orange juice. It seems valuable. I have no idea what... Oh, bollocks. Scan it. I'm gonna scan it. Okay. Apparently I don't need to scan whatever the health reach is. Ready, ho. Hey. 
Um, friends. It's oddly abandoned for a pirate base, gotta say. I was expecting more people trying to stop me wandering around grabbing stuff. Don't want dig pickers, but I'll get some of those. Um, a heart, apparently. I've picked up a heart. Oh, it's a drug. Heart plus. Okay. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Hello, anybody home? I only want to shoot you in the face. Um, that's a dead person. That person's been dead for a while. Guessing the pirates didn't take this base nicely. Though they could at least clean up the dead corpses. Right. Alright, so I can hear pirates now. Pirate! Oh, I like this new gun. Uh, you didn't find me, I found you. She died. A rattler. Another maelstrom. Salt helmet. Golden pyramid statues. Gold seems valuable. I like the scanner for helping find things, it's quite a nice little thing. I like the levitating planet disc. Put that on my ship. Alright. Ooh, restrooms. They can go to the toilet. It's not fallout though. I can't drink from the toilet. monster is what killed everything here. Okay, so lock picking mini game. Yeah, let's start, see what's going on here. Uh, okay, so Okay, I'm kind of understanding, I guess. And then this one goes in here. I did a thing. I got 800 credits. Making some space food. Got a desk assistant, I'll take that. Take a deck of cards. Here. I believe there's some people talking around here. Nope, not in this room. This is a fake door. Got plenty of health cuts. Uh, 
Alright. Nice. That was nice and quick. The the maelstrom is definitely doing its job. Uh, people up there. Possibly. A uh, weird goopy thing. Headshots do a lot of damage in this. More dead scientists with some uh, cash on them. I don't think my robot friend's good at sneaking. Luckily, guns work against people who have seen me. Uh, I got a legendary laser pistol. Nice. One inch punch solstice. Okay, so it's a shotgun pistol. Shotgun laser pistol. Which does more damage the less health I have. Yeah, slow fire rate, but a lot of damage. Ah, there you are. Hello. Oh, it worked. And I've leveled up to level 2. Okay, so... Quite nice skill tree here. And I tend to be quite sneaky in these games where I can, so I'm going to get a point into stealth. So get bonus damage with suppressed weapons and are more difficult to detect. Apparently I can rob the vending machine of its credits, that will do just fine. Lots of dead scientists. You, a weapon case. A laser rifle. And some laser thingies. That looks rather dead. Another pirate. Oh, and I've got a little caution meter, which is quite useful for knowing when I'm done with shooting the enemies. Here, yeah, bad people. There you are. Alright, there's another one around the corner. Just reload. And... Shoot through the plant. Hey, there's two of them. There we go. Well, the scientists died with a lot of credits on them. Oh, what's the science doodads? Don't know what... Any of them for the e sushi rolls and toxin. Never get any nice research bases in these games. They're always evil research bases. Ew. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. 
Cool. So, that all sounds very good. Okay, so, the research logs here, Terramorph Specimen, thanks to the UC Marines, we now have a second piece of the puzzle, a fully grown alpha predator. According to my research, a group of astrologists made first contact nearly a hundred years ago on some remote moon. The creature didn't appear to be indigenous and was alone. There's no current record of how it got here, so it was sheer cosmic chance that the astrogeologists found it, or rather, it found them. Scientists were quick to characterize it Osisio Makina, or the Killing Machine. The UC Marines tasked with taking it down chose a simpler name, the Terramorph. I read the unofficial record once. Of the eight-person squad, only two of the grunts survived, and one of those two lost a leg. Such an exciting time to be in Xeno Warfare. Oh good, so we're, we're right on the Xeno Warfare branch. NCI fitting today. Today we fit the Terramorph with an NCI. Our experience when the grunts first dropped off the creature is any indication. Our sedation window will be around 15 minutes. We better make them count. And they did not make them count. Um, so this thing's still alive, isn't it? And it's going to come and eat me. That's 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 great. Alright, so hacking a container. Okay, I think I'm actually getting my head around this now. Right, yeah. Okay, I understand that puzzle now. And got some more laser cartridges. Uh, a helmet stand. Fancy uh, helmet. Pretty much the exact same as my current one, but less physical damage. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digipics and a disregard for personal property rights. I always have a very big disregard for personal property rights. I am a RPG protagonist. I'm guessing that's that case that I just broke into. Oh. Is that a bad thing? Ow. I think it's a dead thing now. I oh, know there is a real safe here. We're dead. We're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. <laughs> yep. Well, that makes sense. They obviously forgot to watch the film Alien. Let's see if we can hack into this safe. Okay, so I can use that one and that one. Crack that open. And then that one and that one cracks that open. Oh, we got the com relay. And some credits. Nice. Well, we are going to go and say hello to the guy up on the roof. Science crate with whatever instigating Eon is. That's a fancy pistol. So it seems pretty good, but I'm quite liking my Maelstrom. It does a lot more damage per bullet. It's a straight upgrade of the gun that I was given to begin with. It does do double damage on first shot, so I might Stick it on one of my slots. Let's try it out. Um, we're outside, apparently. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain. You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Yeah, what is your problem, we don't have Barrett? A problem. 
want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go for the lie. I killed Barrett. You can all oh, run away. No, you see, we weren't really after Barrett. We're okay. after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the Frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The Frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. I'll try going for Persuade. Go You're away. You're talking us out of this score. Okay, so Persuasion minigame. Um, okay, so I've got three turns, looks like I need four total points. I'll go for the easy one. Don't give me that. I know that Failed the easy one. With loot. Yeah, if you want trade ships, let's, let's go for it. You're willing but, to give up the ship? Just like that? Yeah, nice easy one. Oh, I failed. We're getting what's on that ship. Okay. I've heard enough out of you. Well, I failed, but... It, explosions, lots of explosions. He's got reinforcements, that's fantastic. Alright, oh, he's dead. Yeah, we're, we're absolutely free to go there as soon as these people are dead. I'd love to have a longer range gun right now. Something with scope would be nice. Got a modified maelstrom. So the modified maelstrom is just a little bit of a better one. It's got ooh, a long barrel. Yeah, that'll do. A little bit more accuracy, a little bit more range. Also got the explosive rattler. Ooh, that looks quite nice. Okay, I'm going to heal myself a bit. There we go. Right. Yeah, I'm able to hit them at range now, which is nice. One down. Alright. Trouble actually seeing this pirate. I'm doing more damage to him than he is doing to me. There we go. Alright. Look for the map icon over your ship. Press E over it. I'm carrying too much to fast travel. Okay. Ah, oh yeah. A little bit over mass. There we go. That correct amount of mass now.
So I can just fast travel back to the ship. It's quite nice. Captain, to reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Don't worry, this will all become second nature before too long. Okay, so we can just press R to set a course to our next objective. Right, we're going to Alpha Centauri. Jump. Setting down on New Atlantis. crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. The Trade Authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side, near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoint. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Okie dokie. Very pretty planet. This unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, uh, well, of, of course, uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just... <clears throat> Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM 1327HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to MAST ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Varun Zealots breached the station's perimeter and you failed to initiate proper evacuation protocols. Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. And Mr. Bosch, let me just say how honored I am to meet you. By all accounts, you're the only reason anyone made it out of there alive. Well, just glad I still remember my flight basics. It had been a while. So was shooting a gun. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool! Is it true that the Nat train goes 5,000 miles an hour? Or that citizens get special discounts? Or that the whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June 11th, by the way. My parents took me to Aquila City last week. It kind of smells, but I don't smell anything here. Um, no, yes, no, and I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are state of the art. Ugh, Aquila City? Oh, don't even get me started on those simpletons. A little unfair, don't you think? Free Star Rangers helped me out quite a bit a couple years back. Got ambushed by spacers near Narion. They assisted, no questions asked. Even helped with some repairs so I could do an emergency jump home. Good people. In any event, you all must be exhausted. Just give me a moment to coordinate some details with security. I am really in the middle of something. I'm really rather busy. <sighs> Guess you caught some of that, huh? The galaxy is at peace and somehow seems more dangerous than ever. Spacers, House Varun, Crimson Fleet, everyone trying to grab their peace. What happened to the early days, huh? When we just float through the stars and dream. Yeah, what is House Varun? Not what, 
Who? How to describe House Varun? Well, imagine a, a bunch of colonists who set off into the stars ages ago, disappeared, and then re-emerged as a sort of religious society. Faction, or cult, whatever you want to call them. They believe in some sort of celestial deity called the Great Serpent. Uh, real nightmare fuel kind of stuff. About a hundred years back, they picked a fight with pretty much every one of the settled systems. I guess your school never covered the Serpent's Crusade, huh? We eventually made peace, sort of. Then they just disappeared. They're out there somewhere. Or so folks assume. The ones that attacked us, they were the hardliners, for sure. You meet those guys, you run. You understand me? And what are spaces? Really? <laughs> you must have been hiding under a moon rock your whole life if you've managed to dodge those assholes. <sighs> They're basically a bunch of space scumbags. Fly around, attack, and rob anyone they see. They're pretty disorganized and easy to fend off until they aren't. They're a different beast than the Crimson Fleet. Generally speaking, pirates want your stuff, so they can occasionally be reasoned with. Spacers, though, they tend to shoot first and ask questions never. Yep, that I have. Had to dump a load of cargo just last year. Microscopes. Can you believe that? <laughs> Guess you can sell anything these days. Pirates are a tricky lot. In space, they're all about the hit and run. You jump in, steal your stuff, and get out of there fast. Keep your cool, and you can generally talk your way out of it. So long as you're not too attached to your valuables. Stumble upon them planet side, though, and their trigger fingers get much itchier. And yeah, I'll agree with them. I hear that. Let's go back to exploring space and everything's nice. But hey, just stepping out your door is dangerous. What happened was a tragedy, of course, but I've had way more good happen in my life than bad. The galaxy's still pretty wonderful. It'll take more than this to make me think otherwise. Yeah, who are you, crazy man? Ricardo Bosch. I was the lead researcher on the station that got attacked. It was business as usual until those House Varun crazies swarmed in, spouting their scripture or whatever it was. Even the Marines were overwhelmed. Honestly, I'm just lucky to have made it out of there in one piece. We all are. Now, I just want to get back to work. Where is that woman? Another time, then. Not now. Mm. Talk to little Bobby. I've never been in a battle in the past. Everyone kept telling me to keep my eyes closed, but it's kind of hard to do that when you're running. At first, I thought it was ecliptic mercenaries shooting at us, but it wasn't. It was these other people yelling about serpents and stuff. Yeah, hang in there, pal. It's fine. My dad just has terrible navigation skills. My mom says it all the time. I just hope they don't take too long. I'm sure that foster family is nice, but anyway, I'm fine now. I hope my parents don't take too long getting here. Right, and he said something to me that's added a quest that I didn't hear. Hi, how are you doing? To talk to the scientist by the tree. You can't do this to me. Well, for now, I'll continue on with the main plot. Excellent. That's all very pretty. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Here we Mast District, let's go.
front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Baron gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Hooray! Let's go see what these crazy people are all about. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Uh, yeah. He asked me to deliver it because he's question marks something to do with pirates. I see. Bosco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Mateo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? hear anything yeah bright lights and music interesting similar to Barrett's description of the experience with less embellishment are you hearing this do you all believe me now whether it happened or not what's been done if this is the greatest mystery in the universe why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery uh, gentlemen can we please focus Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right, let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have, the artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, you thought there were only two of them. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the sun systems can do that. None of them. This crazy girl. Breathe. You have a hunt attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, it's as a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager? You're on, Walter. Well, if you had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Yeah. Tell me a bit more about what your crazy organization actually is. We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Yeah, and what exactly am I collecting? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building, well... You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. And yeah, I'll join in with your crazy main plot quest. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some travelling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head.
Okay, I got a basic boost pack, whatever that is. And a constellation guide permanently reduces full damage. That sounds incredibly useful to me. I got another level up though, so. And since we just got a boost pack, let's get boost pack training. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Yeah, what about these artifacts? Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's, that's flattering. But really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two. And the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know. And that means a lot of work ahead of us. Yeah, what about my crazy hallucinations? Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input. Your brain's attempt to make sense of something. An energy surge, some other phenomenon. Yeah, Barrett saw it too. He did. At the time, well, it's Barrett. We weren't sure if he was kidding around. Clearly, he wasn't. So there's a reasonable explanation. There might be a reasonable explanation. I wasn't there. I didn't see what you saw. I'm just not in a position to say for sure. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Yeah, and what else do you do other than finding the two artifacts? Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Yeah, so I can sleep here? Planning on sticking around then? Good! I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Constellation living up to your expectations. Yes, ma'am, of course. I honestly can't imagine being anywhere else. I'm glad to hear it. I think the tour just got interrupted by that voice line. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think my tour got interrupted by the random chatter. Never mind. Well, I suppose calling you a rock. I've been called worse than a rock breaker. Excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and off times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. Glad to By be way, here. In addition to a place to stay, the lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects. If you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Yeah, what kind of company you got, crazy man? We're most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards. Those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Yeah, so what do you think about my crazy hallucinations? Up until very recently, uh, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? No. Yes, I imagined as much. Barrett expressed something similar 
in his own unique way. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Baird and Young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. Yeah, what do you do here, crazy man? <laughs> well, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan or the smarts of young Matei, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you now see, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. Yeah, not where I'd expect to find a CEO of a company. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home as much as anywhere else. Bye. There you go. And this guy to me. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked you. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Mateo. Theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. I remain preoccupied with constellations. Which renders yeah, what do you think about my crazy hallucinations? I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but... You know, if the label fits... Yeah, I know I've never experienced anything like that. That sure lines up with everything else about these artifacts. It's all connected. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. And they all came out of caves? The second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? And why did you join the crazy group? Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. Excellent. Take care of yourself. Take note. Everyone here is worth learning from. Yes, even Kiri. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Yeah, what do you know about the artifacts? Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. Okay, let's begin the main quest. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Oh, UC Vanguard? A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. 
Yeah, pretty excited. My first nice mission. Felt the same way when I started too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Yep. Well, that sounds we fine. Need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen. Whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Yeah. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? But there, I think, is where we are going to leave that for today. So, so far I'm enjoying this. Um, as always, the beginning of Bethesda RPGs can be a little bit wonky. It seems oddly mix of rushed and slow at the same time, but we seem to be getting there, and there's certainly plenty of side quests that started to pile up in my log. But yeah, looking forward to seeing more of this uh, game, seeing where it's going, and I hope you are all going to look forward to joining me for that. If you are enjoying this, please do consider leaving a like and or subscribe, really does help, especially with the first episode of a new series, and otherwise I hope to catch you in the next video. Till then, remember to be kind to yourselves and everyone else. Cheers.